And uh, who else is there even? Like, n literally no one. Like, Bungle, I never heard of that motherfucker in years. And Napoleon Total is literally out here being AI generated, bro. He got kidnapped by Dark Floor or something. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So, as you guys probably all know, I definitely got kidnapped by Enlisted. I definitely am in the torture chamber right now with my legs bound to a chair and I'm crying for my life. I, okay, okay, guys. Anyway, for those who haven't figured it out, I am sarcastic, just to make this extremely clear of everyone. Yes, I was very sarcastic, but needless to say, I am back, and today we're going to be reviewing the essentially the enlisted latest update, which is the new era update. Of course, like I have to say with every one of my videos, and this time more ever with so, I have to thank every single one of you for making this possible, not be only because I have finally gotten my mic back, or a replacement for my mic, but also the fact that every one of you stayed, well, most of you stayed with me, when I did not have my mic, and I was practically using the AI. So I have to thank every single one of you for doing that. I literally cannot be here without you guys. But that said, let's get started. For those who don't know, the new era update has just dropped, and in my opinion, it is one of the most interesting and yet least eventful updates in Enlisted's history. What I mean by that is that Enlisted at first has the merge update, which to my surprise wasn't even an update, they just kind of gave it out to us like it was some minor update. In reality, it kind of changed the entire perception of the game. If you don't believe that's to be the case, then okay, um, we have a few problems. And in my opinion, as of right now, the new era update is just going to be giving us the new essentially trucks and APCs. These are for the Americans that is going to be the Studebaker, for the Soviets that's going to be the GATS AAA, the Soviet milk truck. For the Germans we have the Sonderkampfwagen 7, and for the Japanese we have the Type 94. So that's going to be that. Overall I think it's not a bad update, but I overall I think it's not the best update. What I mean by that is, for one, I think this update is definitely a grab your attention update like, like the last one. But more so is the fact that this update is meant to cope, or in some cases, meant to react and help ease out the pain for essentially the merge, which a lot of people are upset over and they do have valid reasons to why they are upset. This update in my mind is to ease the tension of the merge update. And let me just say it has some mixed results. For one, the new APCs are interesting, um, they're not anything overpowered, but at the same time they do have the feeling of you have to buy them, which... In my opinion, if you guys really ask me of my opinion, you don't really have to buy them at all. It's just essentially a better version of the truck in-game. In terms of the trucks themselves, they're not anything game-changing. As a matter of fact, I thought they were going to be game-changing, but from the looks of it, they're not. Either that or the players that play these trucks don't really know how to use them, which is, I'm guessing that these things aren't overpowered at all. On the other hand, we did get a few new weapons, which is kind of uneventful because in terms of new weapons this is one of the updates in which we got the least weapons for example we got the maxim tokarev for the soviets and in terms of everything else we have the type 99 with the grenade launcher and the tokyo arsenal smg which is for the japanese we do have a few new tanks for the japanese and um no new planes for the japanese except for the merge update which gave us the d4y1 and the atsu kai so that's gonna be that in terms of everything, I overall think that it's not a bad update, it's just an update to help ease the tension of the merge, which I do think it has helped. But what is totally unexcusable is the bugs. For those who don't know, the bugs as of right now is spectacular. What I mean by spectacular is the fact that I did not know in the history of a historian and a firearms enthusiast, because I'm not an expert, that the FG-42 has 21 rounds, not 20 rounds, 21 rounds, that the MG-42 has 50 rounds, sorry, 51 rounds, not 50 rounds, and, and most importantly, the STG-44 has 31 rounds, not 30 rounds. To my surprise, that is actually the case. So, let me ask you guys this question. There are a lot more bugs in the game right now. There are a lot more issues with the merge than people expect, which honestly, I do have I do think their opinions are valid and I do respect their opinions. And overall, this update was meant to ease the pressure of the merge update, which wasn't even an update, which is weird. And still, they gave us a lot of bugs which they still need to fix. As of right now, me playing the game like literally 5 minutes ago, 
the bugs are still there. And what's worse is that although the trucks are useful, they're not really that important in the overall grand scheme of things. But that said, this is the update for you guys. Um, I once again have to thank every single one of you for being such a big help, especially during the time of me not having a mic and with my mic back or somewhat back because uh, let's just say this is only a replacement mic. I would have to say that um, I have to thank every one of you. Um, thank you very much, all of you guys, and have a great day. Stay safe. Napoleon out.